Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Downing. And this is just going to be a quick video update to kind of get everybody up to speed on the projects I've been working on. Um, I know it's been a little over almost two months since I've uh, made any video of any sort, so this is just going to be a quick little uh, catch up. Uh, this is the first version of the SNES 001 Advance 2 controller. Um, this one was all done using my uh, new CNC machine and I'm actually very pleased with how all these uh, how all these cuts and how everything is coming out lately. Um, decided to go with an all white kind of theme for the controllers and um, just because it looked pretty cool but what I've got going on here is this controller is just about ready to start testing um, to see if my actual homemade controllers are going to do what they're supposed to. Um, these are just a couple of, I think they were 4021 shift registers. Um, the regular Nintendo used just one, the Super Nintendo used just uh, a different chip but the same idea. So in theory I should be able to get the same uh, responsiveness out of two of these chips instead of what was on the original controllers. But I've got everything mounted in nicely and um, I decided to go with a USB connection this time instead of actually using the uh, audio plugs like I did last time because those would actually sometimes short or um, reset the system if you plugged them in when it was on so it, it had its flaws but um, this should be a lot uh, cleaner, neater way of doing it. I also had a couple of clear buttons for shoulder buttons that I put red LEDs in so when the controller plugs in these things should light up. Again, this is all theory. I haven't tested anything yet. And all of these are home cut uh, circuit boards. So I've got the D-pad and I've got the uh, uh, ABXY buttons and all the tack switches are mounted onto here uh, for the screen and the volume. There's a uh, volume amp right here and a 7805 to control that. And it's all connected to the screen and so forth. So it's a pretty compact little unit now. Um, it still has to be plugged in, you know, the old fashioned wired way. Um, but I've got plans in the future to change that as well. And here's the actual painted system, and as you can tell, I did not have to mod this in any way, shape, or form like I did the last one to get the video out, and in part that's because of the box that I'm working on, which um, I'm not going to get into right now because like I said, I've got other plans for it. So on top of that, um, I've also been working on expanding my workshop because right now this is about the extent of it. Four walls, vacuum former. I did put in a new table, I don't know, a couple months ago, or last month, which was great. I took out that old paint cabinet and made some decent room. So there's another workstation there. And over here is where the CNC machine is and powered. And just a whole bunch of stuff. This place is an absolute disaster right now. But in part, I'll show you why. Because if you take a step out here, I gotta turn on the light. Over here is a room that used to just be bare floor and was relatively useless. I couldn't really put anything in here because there's a lot of water that comes in here when it rains. And you know, it's an old house. But I built this nice big platform. It goes from here all the way to the back wall and started moving all the household stuff that we don't have any, you know, just storage and so forth onto this platform. So I basically gained all this storage space out of useless space. And what I did with that was starting to build another workstation all the way over here. And if you get me, the ceiling is unfortunately low. But, 
that's where all that other stuff in the other room was. And now I've got a nice new workstation, which today I'm going to work on installing new lights. But to do that, I have to put in a few new breakers into my main panel, run some wire, and put the lights right up on the ceiling, right above each workstation. So that's going to be really helpful. A lot more room to uh, move things around with, maybe get another machine of some sort. And I'm not sure if I ever showed you, but this is my cut station. This is where all the the mold work gets done and the spray painting and everything that's really too dusty to do in the main workshop. And this is all the wood that I got for really cheap that I built all the other shelving and the benches out of. And my new sump pump that's battery backup power so now I don't have to worry when the power goes out and it's raining of us taking on water anymore. That was uh, my first plumbing project actually. And just goes through the joist and out right down to the drain where the washing machine is. I was quite proud of that. But anyway, that's pretty much where we're at right now. And I should be making a little bit more progress today, at least on the workshop. And then I'll be getting back to the SNES. But, as always, I'm trying to update my uh, work blogs a little bit more often lately. And uh, you can check them out there and on the forums. And we'll just leave off where we started. Mess of wires. <laughs>